Well, folks, on our Military Collector segment today, I'm here at Discovery Park of America in Union City, Tennessee. And I tell you what, this World War II Museum is just absolutely awesome. If you haven't had a chance to go to Tennessee lately and come and see some of these wonderful artifacts uh, that they have at the park, but the military section is just wonderful, okay? M3 Scout Car, beautiful specimen. And I'm told that the Kirkman family just didn't want pieces of junk in here. What they did was they had them restored. And Mr. Kirkland also wanted each one of these pieces to run. And I, you know, I know how difficult and you know how difficult it is to maintain these vehicles because I've got many of my own uh, and a mechanic I'm not. So trying to maintain these and keep them in running condition is, is really is a lot of work and a lot of effort. Now over here you'll see the Scorpion uh, is all the way down on the safari end. But this one right here is the M8 Greyhound. Again, you, you'll see that there wasn't a lot of armor on this thing. I mean, it was a light armored car, uh, all wheeled. Um, you might have saw on an earlier show that we did several years ago, a guy in Alabama had one of these, and it spent eight years in restoration. And then here you see, here at Discovery Park of America, a pristine M8 Greyhound. Oh, and you've seen my M37 before on Military Collectors. Here is another beautiful I mean, that is Concours M37 was the mainstay from Korea all the way up through Vietnam. Um, this truck was made by Dodge, a beautiful, beautiful specimen right there. Matter of fact, that's even got the 50 cal in the back and it's got a hard top. Didn't see that much. Most of the time they were canvas. And then over here on the other side of the M37 is the Ferret armored car. Uh, and the M1 mortar back there. Matter of fact, when I was a young lieutenant, uh, those uh, 81 millimeter mortars, that was the first thing that I, uh, I had as a job as a brand new lieutenant in the infantry. Now, the Ferret armored car, uh, these things were really neat. And as a, re a restorer and a collector um, for parades and things like that, but this is just a, a prime uh, specimen here located in the museum. So. What I want to tell you is, is if you get a chance to come to the great state of Tennessee, you got to come over to Union City. You got to come to the, the Discovery Park of America and you've got to see not only the, the military section, but everything else that they have. Log on to discoveryparkofamerica.com and you can schedule your trip over here. Military collectors, well, you bet. I'm always going to be on the lookout. We'll see you next time. Radio check. Roger that.